Hey guys, what's up again? Katsu and Daigo here. Hi, long time no see you guys. And uh, this time around we have a uh, Grand Blue yep. in the highlight here. So we so have the uh, HS and the Tordek for the Grand Blue. Very, very, very first time that Grand Blue is actually having a Tordek. And uh, yeah, they get special treatment as a Shrek Days uh, deck. So, yeah. so uh, we're going to open a Tordek first. Side. Yeah. Let's hope we get some points there though. Yeah. So uh, this deck is centered nice. around the strike base uh, um, Grand Blue units. And this time around, uh, the character that uses this deck is actually Arm. Uh, the other half of Flaming Ace. Uh, Ace, ha, yeah, if you all noticed. You know, pretty shocked there that she was actually kind of forced to do what she had to do anyway. But that's not the point here. The point here is that we actually have a Ventura deck which features a new ability uh, called uh, Hollow, which is also a feature in the new booster, um, Booster 06, Transcension of uh, Blades, I suppose, which uh, we'll post it up later. Do, do keep in touch, uh, do check out our channel. As usual, uh, subscribe and like our channel. I suck at this. Okay, um, do you want to like tear okay, open the box? I'm going to destroy the box. Oh, yeah, okay, just... We have employed uh, some help. Yeah. Okay, so back we have the uh, TDR. Uh, more tapes! Oh god, I hit Bushiro. Tapes, Bushiro. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, uh, as usual, they feature the uh, mat and the. Why uh, is there just a mat? Huh? Uh, whoa. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I don't think we have any points based on the backing. Uh, let's try and take a look. Points. Nope, no points. So we have a clan card. Yep. Nice, nice Grand Blue logo, clan logo. Grand Blue. <laughs> Grand Blue, Grand Blue, yes. Okay. So uh, which features Night Rose as the uh, yeah, the tree. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, nice blue color. Yeah. So as per usual, the first card is a four, this is Strider. Yeah. Two so copies each. This time they're falling is uh, a bit like a double R falling with a few spots on it. Very nice. Yeah. Um, very cool. Vampire Princess of Night Fox Night Rose. Look at that. So nice. the skill basically, um, as, as per usual, uh, every TD oh, yeah. that they actually give. Mm, the on strike skill. Uh, generation break two. Uh, put three cards from the top right there into your drop zone. When your radar is spent in the zone, you pay the cost. Of uh, actually put three cards in the drop zone, pay the cost. Call that card to RC. Card blast one. Uh, auto VC. Strike skill, Karmas 1. When your unit strikes over this uh, this this princess, you may pay the cost. If you don't choose out the one card from the drop zone, call an RC, and the card unit was uh, 2k. So the, the uh, GP2 skill is nice, it makes your whatever your units are gonna set at the end turn, they make 3 cost, they come back to life. Yep. So it's nice, they won't die. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. And because it's an end phase activated, if you strike during the end phase, your G unit goes back, the GP2 will. Take effect a bit like how after you go Messiah works with the two minutes. Yep, very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so moving on to the uh, next card. Has two copies. Strike so unit. Strike unit, okay. Bandit Rum. Power King of Secret Skins. Bandit Rum. As we can see in the anime, uh, Arm actually strikes into this unit. Uh, strike skill. Um, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, choose up to one card from the drop zone, call it to RC, that unit gets plus 2k. So it's a very basic uh, on hit skill, call 1, plus 2. Yeah. So let's look aside um, some of our unique stuff. We get our standard uh, vanilla 10k unit. We get this. It's our other uh, unique uh, on boost uh, kind of. Carbass 1, yeah, Ember, one. Ember clone uh, yeah. kind of card we have here. So on boost, Carbass 1, call unit from drop. Yep. Okay. So we get all. Yeah, we have come in. Special yeah. set. Yeah. Vanilla units. And where's the Kanzen? Yep, right here. Yep, okay, Kanzen. Uh, this is the uh, second Kanzen, I believe, from uh, Grand Blue ever since. Uh, Gusjin. Uh, Gusjin. So now you're no longer to play Gusjin. Yeah. It's this. Same thing. Same thing. So oh, yeah. And your uh, GB1 thank you booster. Uh -huh. Starter and vanilla triggers. Oh wait, no, it's not vanilla triggers. We have a reprint of Sea Strolling. C no, 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 this is not. This is a Sea Strolling is the great one. Sea Strolling is a great one. Uh, this? this is the uh... Rough Seas Banshee. So we have oh, a Rough reprint of Rough Seas Banshee in alternate art. 
Also, like the Triple R and I mean the Great Tree and the Stride, uh, it has this uh, glitter like double R uh, pattern. Very, very nice. And, and it's a, a new crit. artwork. And you give it two. So it's good. One for it, one on for it. Yep. And to make up for the loss of a. Uh, no, they give you four. I was mistaken. Oh, that's cool. Okay, they give you four Rough Seas Banshee. All alternate art. Very, very cool. Although if you play from the start, you already have the other one, which is just a common. Mm -hmm. And they have a new stand trigger. Yep. It's your Margal style effect. So in Salamon Hut plus 3k. Yep. So, inside, there's so a few more unique yes. stuff. Mm -hmm. There is um, a few. Three copies of this guy. That's the uh, one. So I believe it's uh, when he attacks, he gets plus one. Underling Parrot Skeleton. Okay, basically his skill is a GB1. When this unit attacks, this unit gets plus 2k. Uh, if this unit is hollowed, it gets plus 5k. So if attacks and it's hollowed, it gets plus 7, it's 14k. Yeah, it's 14k, yeah, so you can basically spend a grade 2. And your opponent has to get a card to uh, take oh, it. That's probably not going to happen, GB1. Ah, uh, true. But yeah, so still nice card. And there is two copies of uh, this. I believe it's in, this is the Negro, is it? Negro. Sure. Uh, great tool. It's a great tool. It's a very similar effect to the Great One. When it attacks, it gets plus 2k. If it's hollow, it gets additional plus 5k. I think it's a uh, sort of column bird, I think. Let me just check a look. The uh, Tomate. Well, Columbo is the uh, Uncle Kamas one, and this guy? I'm not sure. Negarook. So this is yeah. Negarook, when it attacks plus 2k, if it's hollowed, plus additional 5. So it's a 16k attack without boost. Very nice. And we have um, this one. When attack, count plus 1 plus 3k, free standard, trial deck, each card card. And 4 copies of this guy. So, on right, count plus 2. Wait, no, X, X skill, count plus 2. And you can uh, call a unit from drop, the unit gets plus 2k. Like it's a free spawn. It's a free spawn. Very, very nice. Oh, it's GB1. Oh, yeah, GB1 X, count plus 2. So in addition to the chow deck, which is it looks really empty this time, I think I'm missing the triangle. Sky yeah. So never yeah. mind, uh, we'll move on to a more interesting one, which is the HS! So we'll of the course, heads. as per usual, the HS has the HS. a uh, bonus giveaways. Seen here. The storage box, the sleeves, counter, deck case, and the uh, promos. And of course the deck. Yep. So uh, do check out our channels for all of our unboxings. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's open. Right. Yeah, it's very nice, uh, standard, you know. Yeah. Uh, the same as the uh, new Nectar one. Day. No, and, no. Uh, Pale Moon. Pale Moon. Pale Moon. Sorry. Pale Moon and Gear Chronicle. Yeah. Uh, decks they have for this. Yeah. Uh, so let's so move on to content. Yeah, see, sleeves. Arm. This time around, it's arm. Chono arm. Really yeah. nice. Part of a Rami Labyrinth. Uh, yeah. Very nice it's how they're doing these uh, sleeves. They put the half eye Vanguard on the side here. And Chono Arm on the front with the Vanguard logo on the bottom left. Nice black border and uh, blue as well. Nice shapes at the back. On. So, as per usual, they, they, gave, they gave a pack of three. With every uh, HS so far, they've been giving a pack of three uh, promos. So, so this time, time around, it's a Undead Sea Dragon. Yeah, and they have a reprint of uh, Sea Strange Energy, Energy Alternate Art. Ah, yeah, she looks more cute now actually. Yep. So, um, like all the other double R's they had, this is also the glitter kind of uh, double R foiling. Very, very nice. Yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. sad that the uh, Pale Moon side did not get Alternate Art, but they got they got expensive reprints, so yeah. I can't complain. Yeah, yeah. It was good, it was good. And lastly, a Great Shiri Searcher. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, Then uh, moving on, we have the uh, storage case. As per usual, we have Night Rose at the side. And then the other side is, uh, you know, the Bandit Rum. And the clear back. Clear back. And, and the, of course, course the deck. The deck, which is exactly the same as the one we got in the Trow deck. Uh, let's see if we get a point. 
They also have a counter in the uh, clan card as well. A counter which is which is the, um, the trial deck outward in the front the with the ten thousand back. back. Mm. Clan card. Mm -hmm. And as per usual, the same all lah. The trial deck stuff that you see here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do stay tuned. Uh, let's pre wrap it up about our um, trial deck opening for the uh, Grand Blue trial deck. Uh, do stay tuned for our upcoming uh, GPT-06 Transcension of Blades, I believe. Uh, booster opening, which will feature the uh, GR. Hopefully, we get a GR in the box. And, uh, yeah, Secret Rares, yes. So, this time the Secret Rares are separate, so, separate, so we just get one of them in this yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, like us, find us on Facebook. Uh, stay tuned to our channel and uh, see you next time. Yep. See Bye. You soon. Bye. Bye.